Do you ever feel just so discouraged and overwhelmed in your TTC journey? Like you're giving it your all, you're trying to do your best, but no avail, right? And you're maybe even taking test after test after test and your mindset is just not in it. I want to share with you today seven things that I had to give up in order to increase my chances of getting pregnant and quit with the overwhelm in my TTC journey. So stay tuned. My name is Octavia Steen and I have a business, an online business called Mother Mindset where I help empower women of God who are trying to conceive naturally, increase their faith in God, balance their hormones, and get rid of the overwhelm in the TTC journey. So if that's you, stay tuned for what I have to say because today we're talking about some things we need to quit in order to increase our chances of getting pregnant and where most of these things have to do with the mindset have to do with our minds because how many of you know the enemy will attack your mind first before he attacks the rest of your body right it starts up here first in our brains so the first thing I had to get rid of on my TTC journey was people and their opinions <laughs> people and their opinions both those things just did not coincide with my journey right just think about it you, you you go to christmas dinner and they're just asking you okay when are you gonna have another one or when's your when's your baby coming or you know when are you gonna give me grandbabies yes mom you said that many a times before you know and it's something that you can't answer for them right you can't give them a solid answer as to when you're going to conceive because you don't even know right it is all up to god and some you know good answers for those type of people are ask god why don't you go and pray about my uterus okay <laughs> just go and ask god see if what he tells you um so i had to get rid of people and their opinions the second thing i had to get rid of was toxic forums and groups toxic forums and groups i get so like my spirit just rattles up when i see like on instagram or i see in different forums you know like on the app the glow app they have a forum or if you just type in anything it has to do with ttc whatever forum that pops up or group that pops up and it's not Oh my goodness, it's like they want to tear you down. And who needs that in a TTC journey? No one. No one needs to be torn down. We need to be lifted up. We need to be encouraging each other. And just quick plug, if you're not in my TTC Mother Mindset group, go and check it out. Um, I will leave the link down in the description below. But we all need to be encouraging each other on our journey and not tearing each other down. And those toxic forums and groups, you just need to get out of them, especially the ones that are cussing and, and fussing at each other and, and you know, just doing the most, y'all. We got to get rid of that. We can't have that in our lives while we're trying to conceive, while we're trying to make a baby. <laughs> the third thing that I had to get rid of was excuses. Excuses in regards to my health. Like, oh, I can't wake up at the same time every day and take my BBD. No, I can't do that. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's a, an excuse. Um, and maybe you're not going that route, the BBT route. But if you are going the BBT route, you know, trying to figure out maybe if your luteal phase is long enough for your cycle, or maybe you're trying to figure out, figure out um, and confirm ovulation that you're actually ovulating, especially for women who are PCOS, have PCOS, BBT is important. It tells you a lot about your cycle. And so if that is the case, then you need to stop making excuses. Wake up every morning, right? Set your alarm. My alarm goes off at 4.45 a.m. every morning for me to take my BBT. <laughs> me to take my BBT and to wake up. <laughs> so, you know, we have to stop with the excuses. If you know, if you know, sister of Christ. If you know that dairy does not do your body well, right? Some people can't tolerate the milk protein. And so if you know that it doesn't do your body well, that is not going op to help optimize your fertility or balance your hormones. You need to get rid of it. So stop making the excuse and just do it. Okay. This is your tough love. If you've needed this, comment down below. The fourth thing I had to quit was 
certain foods, dairy and sugar just did not work for my body. And so finding the foods that cause imbalance for you help it will help you increase your chances of getting pregnant. So, and then the next thing I had to quit was negative mindset. Second Corinthians 10 and five tells us to take captive every thought and make it obey Christ. Meaning take whatever negative thought you're having about getting pregnant and ask yourself, does this align with the word of God? And if not, capture it and make it align with God's word, right? And um, what promises he has over your life, speak scripture over your life. And speaking of God, thank you, Lord. I had to quit putting God on the back burner. He had to come first before any OPKs, baby dance and forums. I had to learn how to consult with the father, right? If I wanted to learn more about my fertility journey, if you want to learn how I use fertility prayer in my own TTC journey, then I'll leave a link to a free fertility prayer checklist in the description below. Um, and the last thing, I definitely had to stop idolizing TTC. It came to a point where I needed to put God first and that be, made it so much easier to really allow him to take the reins in my TTC journey and instead of allowing TTC be the idol that I bow down to. And so allowing the Lord to, you know, to just step in during my journey, trust in the Lord with all my heart and really allow him to direct my steps. If this was helpful for you at all, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe for more faith-based fertility tips and I'll see you soon. Blessings and baby dust.